Hi guys, welcome to the video. I hope you all are well. Today's build video, guys, is for the Wish Shotter class for patch 273, season 26. This is Spirit Barrage Yard Speed update, guys. So, uh, yeah, if you want to blast free, guys, get lots and lots of uh, quick power angle, man. Yeah, and I've actually filmed a lot of these, uh, a lot of these are patched by streams though. I've had about four drop, man, just in some quick speed nights. This gear is very, very basic. There's no orgs on it. And the good thing I've got is this 122 gem. That's pretty much it, actually. But uh, yeah, you guys, uh, currently we still, I can do about speed nights with this. So uh, let's quick show in action then. And uh, you don't want to talk about the gear and all that. Well, here we go. Just do a quick 90. Nice and see. Okay, guys, first thing we're going to do is cast three times, okay? So that way the manatee above your head lasts 10 seconds, and you can see cast out all these bubbles. Okay? Then hit Big Bad Booty tra Ghost Trance. This follows you around, provides healing and attack speed, and damage reduction. When you see in a bunch of enemies like this, you just cast Pestilence once. This will proc your ROE ring. See Leap Pack, just hold down the trigger until it's dead. And boom. There you go, and it's dead, man. That'd be easy to easy, man. Easy peasy. Any more packs there? Not only really no packs, but there's a fair amount of de uh, trash, so let's cast Pestilence again. And quickly blow these guys up. Barber guys, main hand weapon, makes everything explode within 15 yards, which is nice. Yeah, it's very nice, man, to do some quick speeds on this. Still very, very strong. This overall, though, is still probably our best GR speed build for lower content. Arrakis Spiders, though, is better for higher GR speeds. This has got a much, much more damage on it sort of thing. But this is just quicker for the lower content. Though. Lovely. Let's go through you can see, guys, I've got Perma Spirit Walk, which is great. So I can just scout for elites or big trash packs. Like, there's a fair amount of trash here, so I'm going to quickly stop. And blow it up. We've got Perma Spirit Walk because of the new mojo called Shuriken's Triumph. They got updated uh, a few patches ago. But basically, it lets you Spirit Walk forever until you hit an elite pack or attack three times. So you've got great mobility, but also it gives you a really nice damage boost. You can use Echoing Fury instead in the cube than this for just like completely raw damage out but you definitely won't be as mobile. So if you're lacking a bit of damage, put Echo and Fury in instead, guys. You're just, just starting out. And just keep looking. Up in there. Let's go. Gift packs game. Let's go, baby. There's one. Right, class one pest each to find the main guy. There he is. Boom. Bloody hell. Rex done it. <laughs> so nice. Right, looks like another pack. It's having nice and mobile, isn't it, man? There we go. There's a pack here. So you can see it just seems to engage by itself. Using the conventional elements as well. So when we hit cold rotation, like we are now, it's our big, big, big damage window. I'm also using Squirt's Necklace in this build as well, which gives you that huge damage buff. But it's got a bad negative, though. So, But we can get rid of that with the Gizzard of the Gem. We'll talk about that in a sec. Alright, uh, blast through. Oh, I've gone the wrong way, guys. Where have I gone? Oh, it's this way. There we go, I've gone the wrong way. Thankfully, though, we've got Shuriken Triumph Mojo, so we're super mobile. And I can rectify that mistake. There we go, nice. Alright, let's go, go, go. I was hoping for one of the new maps to pop up during this run, but it hasn't, unfortunately. A pack there. Also, guys, I go over the uh, Enchantress setup as well. Which should give us a tax speed buff and a second self res, man, which is really, really nice. I'm currently not running any self res on this particular build on softball. But if you're playing this on hardcore, obviously, you know, have a self res, man, because you don't want to rip and lose your character. Right, let's have a look. God, the packs are a bit sparse today. Where are they? Maybe they're hiding over here. There they are. So, you guys, with the barrage, just here, like I said, just hit Locust One Pestilence once. That brought your ring of entrance ring. And then uh, hold down the trigger, basically, on the main guy. Let's go pew, 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 pew. And <laughs> Yeah, this ain't performing too bad, you know. There's no orgs on this gear. No ancient weapon or anything like that. It's uh, just out of the box, man. It works pretty decent. But obviously, you know, adjust whatever content GR you're doing. Like right now, for me, and my current Paragon, which is 1.3k, no orgs. You know, I'm very comfortable doing 90 speeds on this. But obviously, once I'm orgs and all that, I would be bringing that up and up and up so test that on your character but you're looking to do about you know two to three minutes per run sort of thing lovely all right let's grab all this loot i'll quickly do those gem ups i need the zeers leveled up as well anything good guys nothing great nothing great never get no good loot in diablo man well apart from the primal arakia legs that i found the other day <laughs> nice night man pretty good rollers actually look at this guys where are they there you go look at those aren't they nice nice 
It's pretty sweet. I need to find a germ. Notice I've used that on the Erica build. Brilliant. Also, guys, I've done the T16 version of this build as well on the channel, so go check it out. Brilliant. Okay, guys, so uh, what are we wearing? So we're using the Spirit Barrage set, okay? Mandugu's Regalia. I love this thing. Big Bad Voodoo now follows you. It lasts twice as long. Got two set bonus. You cast this in, and you see it follows us around. And this little fella provides healing and damage reduction in attack speed. Brilliant. Four set bonus, guys, is basically 60% damage reduction when you enter the spirit realm. This is spirit walk, so click on this button here, and boom, there you go, there's your damage reduction. You'll be casting this all the time anyway, because it's your main movement speed bonus to get around, man, to that next all important pack. And then six piece bonus, guys, spirit barrage deals 20,000% increased damage and additional damage based on your mana regeneration. We're actually using a rush of essence in this build, so we're actually getting a little bit more out of that bonus. You can see here right now, I'm not using those self res. If you have any trouble, guys, just change that to self res, especially on hardcore. Okay. But because I'm on softcore, you know, I can just go for DPS because I've got a self res from a follower. Brilliant. Okay, guys, we're also using Captain Crimson. So I'm using Crimson's boots and legs. For Spirit Barrage, I'm using gloves, shoulders, helm, chest, and legs. Okay. Uh, Crimson's <laughs> is awesome. You craft this at the blacksmith table. You just need to do uh, Act 1 bounties over and over again, and eventually it will just drop. Okay, two set bonus, regenerates 6,000 life per second. Also gives you 20% cooldown reduction and 20% resource cost reduction, which is great. Then three part bonus, damage dealt is increased by your percentage of cooldown reduction. So the higher your cooldown you have, the more damage you do. Okay, which is great. And then your resource cost reduction comes in as well for toughness. Okay, so it's a brilliant thing for speed farming. And also it's used in the push version of the build as well. So slap it on guys, it's great. Brilliant. Okay, guys, ring. Number one is Ring of Emptiness. Okay, so when you basically uh, hit with Haunt the Locust Swarm, we're using Locust Swarm in this one because it's got 100% spread rate. You cast it once, then you've got, you got to cast it once every eight seconds, by the way, to proc a Ring of Emptiness because it's only last eight seconds here. Because we're not using Creep in Death because this is a speed version. Okay, so um, yeah, once every eight seconds, guys, cast this on your Elite Pack, Big Trash Pack, then just hold down the trigger, watch everything die. First gem, guys, you want to use is the Gogok of Swiftness. This gives us a uh, massive attack speed bonus up to 15 stacks, which is great. You also get 1% cooldown reduction per stack of Swiftness. That's an extra 15% cooldown, which procs Captain Crimson, gives you more DPS. It also gives you a dodge as well, which is nice. So as you rank this gem up, you get more dodge chance as well, and it can actually really save you in the deep end game, especially when you're doing the pushing version. I'll upload the pushing version of this build as well a bit later this weekend. But uh, yeah, it's a great gem, and I love it. It really works really well. Okay, guys, next ring is the Convention of Elements, okay? So once we hit the cold rotation on this ring, um, that's your window for your big DPS burst, okay? So you've got a quite a tough enemy there. It's not going down too quickly. Just time your cold rotation right there, man. You've got four-second damage window, huge DPS. But to be honest, like I said, you should be doing content that you can speed between two to three minutes. So most packs will be exploding in just in a few seconds. Jamie, on you guys next, of course, is Bane of the Trapped with a massive damage bonus. For necklace guys, we're using Squirt's Necklace, okay? So like I said earlier, it gives you that massive 10 stack damage bonus, but it does make you take an extra 50% damage increase from enemies, okay? Now to get rid of this bad effect, we're putting the Molten Wildebeest Gizzard Gem into the necklace to give you a shield. So you put your mouse over the shield here, your HP bar, sorry. You get a shield based on your HP, okay? So I'm running about 790k HP at the moment, and that gives me a 241k shield. While that shield is up, you don't get the negative effect of Squirt's Necklace. If you guys have issues from this and you're dying, just make, what you do is just make sure that the Gizzard Gem is at least level 80 and you're in content that's not too hard for you. But what you can do, you can just take this out and just pop in a Traveler's Pledge and a Compass Rose instead. This gives you damage reduction while you're moving and damage bonus while you're standing still. Okay, but with this particular build, you really want to be using Squirt's to COE because you just want to rip and tear through that content super fast. This is generally here. He's the side to uh, Traveler's uh, Pledge set, man. It's, it's, this is normally used for GR push, but it's just an option there to uh, keep stuff alive. Brilliant. Then, guys, of course, Bracer, of course, is Lacub's Ornament Bracer. So, as you get Soul Harvest Snacks, you get massive damage bonus now, guys. It's so, so good. You get 60% baseline now. Once you get between one to three stacks, turns out the Bracers to run, you know, so. Uh, we get massive tank now on Witch Dots. It's so much better now. I love that change. Always use the Diamond and Helm, guys. But it's your CDR in chest and legs. I'm using Topazes currently for more damage because I'm just speed farming. But um, if you have any issues, you can always put rubies or emeralds in your chest and legs for more armor bonus. So you, you can survive. And then, guys, bar main hand course is the Barber. So uh, you see the, the tin is dealing direct damage. Your Spirit Barrage now accumulates up to the target. When you stop casting, it explodes up to 500 
damage per tweet in 15 yards, okay? So, um, yeah, pretty much, guys. If you see really back, just pestilence, hold down the trigger. And it's going to die super, super quick. Offhand, guys, is caused Gazing Demise, which gives an option extra 150% increased damage bonus, man. And it makes the mana to above your head last for 10 seconds. So you just go one, two, three. And you can see now he's spitting out those balls like crazy. Um, actually, accelerated rate. Brilliant. What's in the cube? In the cube, guys, is Shuriken's Triumph. I love this thing. It's so good. This gives you a perma spirit walk until you attack three times or counter leap within 20 yards. Also gives you a 100% damage bonus. So uh, I love this thing so much, mate. You just go boom, 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 spirit walk, and then you get 100% damage bonus. And that thing is shooting up those bolts, ripping and tearing rid of monsters, man. So nice. It's really, really good. Also, guys, if you want so if you want even more DPS, but you won't be quite as mobile, you can always opt for Echoing Fury. Gives you a huge attack speed bonus, and five percent movement speed of twenty-five percent. I normally use this, but I actually prefer this these days because if you get to one of those maps where it's a bit dead, and you're not procking your fury to keep that movement speed going. There, yeah, so you just go click, and you know you just straight for it. But you do get more DPS if you use fury though. Okay, uh, other options, guys. You can use second half, some more tank, obviously. But you know, it's a speed bomb build that's more for a low push. Or you could, if you want to be really lazy, you could go wormwood. Okay, so you will auto cast basically pestilence. You wouldn't have no mobility though. But if you want to be really lazy, maybe one day, you know, you can just pop this on. Maybe for low B content, you know, say you're doing like really low B gems sort of thing. You can just pop it on one, we'll just walk for a 60 or something like that. And they don't even bother clicking on this, you know. It's always worth it's well worth it. But for this particular build, I'll stick to Sharon and Stripe, it's great. Love it. Then guys, next is Frostburn's cause. This is a cold build, so it increases their cold damage by 20%. There's a 50% chance to free damage, which is great. So it's just CC's the whole screen. And of course, it gets Ring of Royal Grandeur to uh achieve six piece bonus here and uh three piece bonus here Brilliant. okay guys so what's on the follow-up man so follow us out i use the enchantress we are using charm amplification powered shields and currently i've got fates laps on which is basically a self-res um because i'm not using the self-res here okay but as i'm gaining power paragon orgs blah 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 i would just switch her over to focus mind which basically gives me a tax speed bonus on top which makes me cast even faster <laughs> but far core especially keep free like so guys i'm using on the follow-up thunder fury i love this thing because it procs a lightning damage hit that debuffs their melee speed and movement speed pair that with a wild word ring that you're now stunning the enemies as well really good for rift garden as well uh for boots i'm using ice climbers so that she basically can't be mobilized at all frozen which is always good then i've got my swap out gear here guys canes and sages and the belt so when i pop in a walk and the other boots I can switch her in to uh, get a DB bonus and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but uh, I did a previous video on T16, so go check that out. But yeah, while we're drawing, uh, also the Oculus Ring, somewhere we kill time, we get poor power, jumping in for the big damage bonus. Shoulders, homing pads, you know. Broken Crown, I'm using because I need the gems at the moment, but with for GI environment, you want to use Blind Faith, which is this one here. Pop this on, and it, has, it makes the follower have a chance, basically, to blind on here. So more CC. Brilliant. I love that thing. It is actually really good. Try to get an agent one as well. But guys, man, with the follower, you're trying to reach 25,000 intelligence. So that way, amplification bonus, all these other bonuses will go to the very, very max. Brilliant. Uh, chestplate, guys, should have a Talrasha for the attack speed. I don't have one yet, so I've just chucked in a, a temporary chestplate for now. You're 100%, you guys, you want flavor of time. This thing is so good. It doubles all duration of your pylons. It makes all the GR speeds, you know, one minute power, one minute uh, conduit, two minutes speed, two minute shield, makes the, those runs so, so easy. Nemesis Brace, guys, a spot short of spawner elite champions, man, from Shrines and Pylons, so you get more progress. And uh, yeah, that's it, that's what we use for the, uh, the Enchantress. Then, guys, baseline skills, Spirit Branch Mana 2. I will have a build guide link, as usual, in the description of this video. Uh, Big Bad Voodoo Ghost Trance, so attack speed, healing, damage reduction. Uh, Locus on Pestilence, 100% spread. You have to cast this once every 8 seconds. Soul Harvest, Soul to Ace, Intelligence, and Move Speed Buff. You must keep these stacks up to 5 at all times, otherwise you probably will die. Spirit Walk Severance, uh, 2 second damage immunity with massive movement speed bonus, and this is permanent until you attack or uh, come in within 20 yards of an elite cause Shogun's Triumph Mojo. Horrify Stalker, guys, just numlock this. Just look, just, just Google numlock trick. It's basically like a macro, but it's built into the game, so it is allowed by Blizzard. And this does a CC and a 20% movement speed bonus all the time. I love this thing. Also, you can change this over to fight an aspect if you need more tank for deeper GRs. This one right here. 
Extra 50% armor is awesome. Then, guys, confidence ritual for the damage bonus. Pierce the Valve for even more damage bonus. Rush of Essence to this how you recharge all your power as you cast Spirit Barrage. Then, Grave Injustice for all your cooldowns, healing, and health. And there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you like Diablo content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for watching.